We need to talk. Yeah, we do. I haven't stood up like that since Alice Gilbert in the ninth grade. What are you doing? Joyce, hello? Just watch. Okay, you're freaking me out now. You slipped on this, remember? Yeah. Yeah, in the night. It fell, it lost its magnetism. Oh, did it? And the exact same thing happened at my place the day before. Wow. And I thought, okay, that's weird, right? Why are these magnets suddenly losing their magnetism? Uh-huh. So, I went and I saw Scott. Scott? Who's Scott? Scott Clark. Your child science teacher? He's pretty brilliant, actually. And I asked him, how was this happening? And he built this magnetic field using an AC transformer and plugging it into a, a, a solar noid. And with that solar noid, which is basically a... I, slow down, slow down. D just so I can get this right, OK? You stood me up. No phone call, no apology, because you had to go to Scott Clark's house. Yeah. You've outdone yourself, Joyce. You really have. No, you've outdone yourself. Oh, come on, Hop, you're not even listening to me. Scott was able to demagnetize the magnets, and he thinks- I don't care what Scott thinks. He thinks that a large scale magnetic field could be built using some kind of machine or advanced technology. He's brilliant. He really is brilliant. Is he single too? What if it's them? To build a machine like this, you need resources, you, you need scientists, you need funding, tens of millions of dollars. Joyce. It, it can't just be a coincidence hopper, it has to be them. Joyce, stop. It has to be the lab. It is impossible. Well then, prove it to me. Prove it? Yeah, take me back. To the lab? Yeah, I want to go back. Because some magnets fell off your fridge? Yes. Okay, makes sense. Thank you. Makes sense, I'm sorry. I'm a little busy right now. I'm thinking maybe we can meet up there like tonight, like 7 p.m. You know, of course, unless something else comes up, which you know it will. <laughs>